Good morning, everybody. I'm Deanna Southset at 25 minutes past the hour. Here are this morning's top stories. A motorcyclist remains in critical condition this morning after crashing in northwest Albuquerque. Deputies say the unidentified man lost control and hit a curb around 6.30 yesterday evening. This was near 2nd and Osuna. They say he was not wearing a helmet. Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies continue investigating a crash that killed an 80-year-old woman. Investigators say the elderly woman was heading east across Coors in a gold Toyota Corolla when another car headed south on course crashed into her at Los Padillas. The 80-year-old died on the way to the hospital. The woman driving the other car was injured but should be okay. At this point, deputies say it appears the 80-year-old failed to yield to oncoming traffic. A Carlsbad couple convicted last year for income tax evasion will be sentenced May 17th in Albuquerque. Dr. Mark Hopkins and Sharon Hopkins were found guilty in September by a federal jury on seven counts of tax evasion and one count of conspiracy. The couple allegedly owed about $1.3 million in taxes from 1996 to 2007. Each person faces up to 40 years in prison and a maximum $2 million fine. Crews from the U.S. Air Force Weapons School will be performing night training missions at Cannon Air Force Base beginning tonight. The 14th Weapons Squadron from Hurlburt Field, Florida, will be conducting those flights. Missions will include ground and air movements between 8 p.m. and 1 a.m. Missions will also take place on March 16th in Portales. Some New Mexico students are getting an extra long weekend. Dulce Middle and High School will be closed today because of a water main break. Dulce Elementary will be in session. And, of course, teachers and staff members at Dulce Middle and High School are still being required to show up for work. Right now, let's go ahead and take a look at our weather. Here's meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke. Good morning. Good morning. A beautiful start to this Monday morning. Skies right now mostly sunny out there with just some high thin clouds moving across the central part of the state. And we may see another batch of clouds move in from the northwest. So overall, mostly sunny skies with a mix of sun and clouds here and there as we head through the day. Highs today a little cooler in the southeast. 70 in Roswell, 69 in Albuquerque. So we'll do better than we did yesterday there. In the northwest, highs in the upper 60s, near 70 for Silver City and in the mid to upper 60s up in the northeast. Tomorrow, looking at temperatures in the upper 70s in the southeast. 70 for the metro, mid 60s up in the northwest. Here's your 7 day forecast for the metro. Mostly sunny skies, to partly sunny skies as we head through the week with temperatures going up. 70 tomorrow, mid 70s for Wednesday and Thursday, and staying in the 70s through Saturday. Thanks a lot, Kristen. Thanks for joining us. For continuous news and weather updates, log on to KRQE.com. Have a great morning, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow morning, 5 a.m.